Uh, in fact, that's the simple thing. Yes, it's just more pixels. The problem is uh, more pixels is really hard. Uh, 4K requires a minimum of double the data rate of 1080p, uh, and this puts extra strain on your electronics, on your cables, on your interoperability. Uh, so what we've done here in our digital media lab with our 4K certification program is build a complete HDMI 2.0 certification facility. With that equipment, uh, which represents about a $600,000 investment for us, we bring in third-party manufacturer's equipment, test that to the full HDMI specification and beyond, and then put our certification label on it to indicate that this is our seal, this gear is going to work reliably and well, and the integrator won't have any surprises when he gets to the job site and tries to install it. Reliability and predictability is really what it's about. In, sure, integrators are great at going out there and troubleshooting and problem solving and making it work, but that costs time and that costs money. And what we want to do is give our guarantee that you're not going to have to spend that time and money. Just plug it in the way you designed it and expect that it will work. It's easy to think of cables, especially for digital systems, as magical devices that transmit ones and zeros down the line, and the ones and zeros get there and everything's happy. In reality, especially at these speeds, in HDMI we're talking nine gigs and above for 4K signaling. Cables become nasty little antenna devices uh, that do nasty things to your ones and zeros. And the idea is to make sure you can get those ones and zeros back at the end. Uh, so the HDMI specification, like all digital communication systems, offers a maximum error rate that you're allowed to sustain and still be a certified qualified product. For HDMI, you're allowed to make one mistake per billion bits that you transmit. So what we found is that when transmitting 4K signals using HD based T technology at 100 meters, not many off-the-shelf cables can actually meet that HDMI specification. So for that reason, we developed our own DM Ultra cable along with one of our cable manufacturing partners in order to meet that HDMI error rate specification of fewer than one error per billion bits while also maintaining that cable certification as a fully qualified CAT7A data cable suitable for 10 gig or even 40 gigabit Ethernet. Uh, what we're introducing here at this show, which is a, a world exclusive, and I think will remain so for some time, is our new 4K60 scaler. This is a video scaling device capable of operating upscaling to 4K at 60 hertz or downscaling from 4K at 60 hertz. Uh, this technology is so unique that there was not a chip available on the market for guys like me to go and buy and put into a product. So at Crestron, we had to sort of take our next step as a company and develop our own scalar chip in order to have this capability. Uh, we fully expect to be ahead of our competition uh, for years with this technology now, and it's here introduced for the first time at ISE 2015. It's, it's my job at Crestron and Crestron's job in the industry to be at the leading edge. If we're not leading, then we're losing.